Hey guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. This is Foxy Softballs and I'm going to be going through a number of games like Minecraft and Diablo and showing you how to play and what you have to do. So to start off my channel, I will be creating a new Diablo character. But first I'm just going to show you the basics of Diablo using one of my older characters. This one is a witch doctor and contains a lot of perks and is also quite a high level. As you may find, my PC runs a tiny bit slow, but here you go. Here is Diablo, as you can see, this is one of the main times. So, the aim of Diablo is to play through um, a story which involves killing a lot of demons and leveling up your character to the best it can be. At the moment this is a level 70 which is the highest level you can get with 25 paragon levels. So you get to edit all of your skills that you unlock during the game and here's your inventory which you can add gems and special set helms and armour you unlock during the game. Also, if you come to your stash, this is where you'll keep any valuable items that you unlock during the game, and these are called gems, and these will help you in your journey to Diablo to up your damage, toughness, and recovery, which is vital in the game. So, I'll leave this game, and I will create a new character on story mode for you. It may take a few seconds. But basically, I'm going to go through the Diablo game bit by bit with you, and I'm gonna... So, you have a choice of Barbarian, Crusader, Demon Hunter, Monk, Witch Doctor and Wizard. So for this channel, I'm going to be a Demon Hunter. So... Here we go. So... Um, let's just create this. So, if you have this game, when you first start and load the game and you create a season character, it'll come up with this. A new start. Participating in a season gives you the opportunity to reap exclusive rewards. Seasonal heroes start completely fresh and can only play with other seasonal heroes. You will not be able to use non-seasonal items in your stash. You will start with at zero gold and you will have to return your artisans. You press accept to that because if you press decline, your character will not be like created. So once we press accept, as you can see, it will come up with this. So game setting, campaign. Um, Let's go normal. Act one, fallen star. Right. Save and close and start game. So you'll start off as a completely separate character and not unlock anything. But once you get further into the game, you'll unlock it all. So I'll show you how and what happens in Diablo. You start off in Overlook Road and you have to go to the, to meet these people and you have to kill these zombies. These are risen and you have to attack these and to kill all of the demons and undead. As you can see we're now at a camp. New Tristram. This is one of the main camps. I have journeyed here to find the fallen star. So this is the quest. Of evil from this land. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. So they've attacked the city, and you have to speak with the only survivor, which is this girl called Leah, which you'll meet in a few minutes. But there's a way for demons at the moment, so you have to deal with these before you enter the town. Save the people. Never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gate. 
So now you can go into nutrition and go and meet this girl called Lydia in the slaughtered calf pen. So as you enter the game in nutrition, you'll walk through there and there's this waypoint on the floor. So what you do is you go into here, which it said should glow and say the slaughtered calf pen. You'll go into there and on this table there's a book. You have to pick it up and it's a head of experience. That's what happens when you level up. You glow and it'll say you Tristram, but as time unlocked went like by, something. Adventurers arrived to loot. She's been under siege for six days. Here you go, and I've unlocked a skill. So we'll go through all that in a minute. Rumford said the king So this is Leanna. I did. But it blasted my uncle Deckard Cain into the depths of the old cathedral. Tried to search for him. So Leah's now explaining what happened and he came back here to rally like, the why she's here. So the queen will automatically do stuff like that. Um, the ex once there's an exclamation mark above someone, and you have to go and see them. So if you click on them, will overwhelm us all. that will give you information on what you're doing. Then I shall put an end to them and secure your crown. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. So now we've got another quest to speak to Captain Rumford at the gate of Nutristrum. So what you have to do for the quest is it'll come up below your map right here. And this shows you where everything is. So your stash, the your stash, the book of Khan. So like so the Book of Khan is Khan's house. Should be in here. Yeah. Here we go. So to collect them, you just click on them and you should get them on the floor. What that does is it gives you extra experience so you can level up with them. So as you can see, you have to talk to Captain Rumford. Captain Rumford, so here he is. So. What can I do to help fight the living dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Don't worry, I will avenge their death. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones promised. So now he's explaining that the ones creating it. So we have to kill the wretched mother. This is the spawner. If you can see it up there, there she is. See? We have to kill her. There you go. So what, if you find stuff like that, go in your inventory and it should give you some armour and eventually it will all come in here and you'll have to check which one's better for you, but that should happen soon. So Diablo is a pretty com complex game, it takes a long time to complete, so if we kill all these and then I'll take you through some of the other things you can do. So, if you go into skills, you unlock new skills, like, say, like these. You can unlock these at certain levels, and these are the ones I've got at the moment because I started a new character. So, if you go into skills as well, there's passive skill slots. You unlock them when you get to level 10, and what that does is adds extra damage and other things to your character, which helps you greatly in the game. I play this a lot with my family, and it's you've complete. There's these things called seasons where you have to complete certain tasks to get armour that's only on for a limited time. So what you have to do is follow these, kill the wretched queen of old ruins. So we have to have a look for the old ruins. And if you find dead bodies like that, click on them because they may not have loot in. So here's a wretched mother. So what you have to do is go around looking for the places it tells you. And if there's stuff like that in the way, you shoot them. 
And when you get to a certain, certain like, level, it will eventually start hurting you and then you start to die. So I just got some gloves there. And as well, you see that glowing thing by there? That's health. So pick up that every time you have the chance to. And it will regen your health for you. So in cellars and stuff like this, occasionally there'll be bosses, like the one you saw me fight over there that glowed yellow. That's one of the bosses. So always go into cellars. So now let's slip back on course and have a look. You can shoot most things in Diablo, but for anyone that's looking to get this, it costs a, quite a bit of money, but not much. About 25 pounds, 25, 26 pounds. For anyone that's looking to buy this, I definitely recommend this game. Um, this isn't going to be a very long video, we'll get to, we'll kill the Wretched Queen and the other ones, and then I might end the video. But it all depends on Diablo 6. So, sorry if this video is a bit boring, but there's not much more you can really say about Diablo. So what you have to do now is, you can't go down cellars that are like that, so here's another Wretched Mother. So what you have to do is you have to kill them when you can get it. Anytime you can find a wretched mother in this part of Diablo, kill them because you get a bonus. And you see this, this is gold, so your gold adds on on there so that you can buy weapons, armour and other stuff that will help you during your time playing Diablo. Um, here's another wretched mother. So whenever you find them, there'll be random books to pick up and then they scrape so you'll hear. But I would definitely recommend if it's your first time playing Diablo listening to them so that you know exactly what's going on sometimes it gets a bit confusing so you don't always have to explore everything but just to show you guys what's going on in this game and where everything is and what you're meant to be doing I'll show you most of it so here's some of the elites here and bosses so these will hurt have to watch these because these will hurt. So if you come across these, I would definitely recommend keeping a watchful eye on your health and your hatred, which you won't get much to know yet. But this is hatred. A fast relying source used to fuel the demon hunter's offense abilities. So you'll use that later on. Oh, and also one thing I need to add is this. If you find one of these, click on them. It's a chest. You need them to get extra stuff. And trust me, they'll come in useful along your time playing Diablo. So, I'm not sure where the old ruins is. Right, the oh, here's a wretched mother again. So let's have a look in my inventory. So as you can see, everything's going up. What you want to do is you'll look at which one's better and you'll switch them out. Switch them out. So you can see that that's green. So you want to switch that out so that it's better. Like that, see? And sometimes it gives you a little perk. So as you can see, we're at the old ruins now. And that circle on the map is the, what your objective is. So, there's going to be a lot of mobs, there's going to be a lot of enemies and demons around at the moment, 
because when we are where we're needing to go. So, this is what we're supposed to be getting. The Wretched Queen. Shouldn't take us long. Yeah. There you go. So what we have to do is I'm going to scout around here and I'm going to show you what this waypoint does now. So what we have to do, oh and also this is a weapon rack, you click on it and you get weapons. So I got a club from that which is no good for a demon hunter, you want a bow for a demon hunter. So this is a waypoint, you click on it and it'll give you all the places you've been at the moment. So I've only been to New Tristram and Old Ruins. So what you want to do is go back to New Tristram and it should save your game. So this is going to be the end of my first video after I've spoke to Captain Rumford I think. So. Let's just go and talk to him. Thank you for your help. But if you talk some sense into me, she won't give up no, on me. She's she's and there you go. So now I've done that. This is gonna be the end of my first video. Thank any of you guys for watching and I will upload one soon. Bye!